32. Yes. Sonia in the studio with us. And Sonia, we've missed you the last couple of weeks. You I were in know. San Antonio and Las Vegas, yes. the World Traveler. World Traveler, and I'm really glad to be back home if you really want to know the truth. So oh, did you learn uh, anything in all those seminars? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's good stuff. Yeah, very good yeah. stuff. Rick said uh, he really wanted to listen to what you had learned, but right. it, it put him to sleep. He well, did not want to listen to it. <laughs> I mean, to me, when she starts talking, I mean, I am very proud of what she does. And right. I'm telling you, she does a great job at what she does. And she's one of the rock stars when it comes to insurance. But when she starts explaining it to me, I'm sitting there going, what? Yeah. Hey? <laughs> you know? Well, you're the same way with me on my electronics. You know, I'm trying to explain why we were doing stuff. And you said, does it just plug in here? Well, that's what my deal is. Is that, you know, he's over telling me how things work. I was like, does, does that plug in that hole right there? That's all. <laughs> That's all I know. I mean, I don't know. So, so I put a bunch of masking tape on right. it. Right. Yeah, well, you're all set. Okay, Sonia, what do you have for us well, this week? I have a listener question, and yeah. it is from our very own Stacy. Yes, yes, my lovely bride of 27 years This is a very good question. Coming up on 28. She says, uh, glass coverage for vehicles. I ask because of the gravel roads and construction vehicles all around the area. Sometimes when I'm driving, I feel like I'm being bomb bombarded by rocks. I'm mm -hmm. so afraid I'm going to have a cracked windshield. My vehicle has lots of glass. Uh -huh. And that's true just right around Graham this week. Uh -huh. you know, yeah. Whenever I, she, she sent me the question, I was thinking of like on the highway. But now with all this road construction, we're going through that. So that's what I thought we'd talk about today. And where the... Coverage for that is probably going to fall is on your policy, and we'll talk about maybe some exceptions. But for your policy, it's going to be under either it's either going to be called comprehensive or other than collision. Some companies use it's the same thing, interchangeable. There's going to be a deductible, mm. and that's where most of the time that's where that coverage is going to come. Right. Now, um, there are some circumstances if, for example, somebody um, a company has loaded a vehicle down with things and didn't have it secured properly and something comes out of there and hits your windshield. If it's proven that that company was negligent, then their auto liability would pay for your glass damage. However, proving that is very difficult. I have heard, and see if this is true, that this started from a court case of a rock that came off of a truck that hit the highway, then bounced and hit the windshield, and the judge said it was an act of God that the second that it hit the road, it wasn't the responsibility of the vehicle before. Right, and and they call it road hazard, and you know, and we see it from both ends. We we see it from the truck hauling the stuff, and uh, even if a company feels bad about it, yeah. it doesn't make them negligent. Right. So I guess the the if possible, try to not be right behind a truck. Although sometimes you don't have that choice, but to try to keep your distance. Unlike Rick, who drives very offensively instead of defensively. People need to get out of the way. <laughs> so, <laughs> so instead of riding riding the, in the back of that truck to try to get around it, um, it's yeah. best just to keep your distance. But uh, going and then I've even there are some cases, and I looked it up. I. I don't think that you can count on this very often, but uh, sometimes the state or city or county could be negligent if there's something wrong with the road, but that's really hard, and you're mm -hmm. going to have to hire a lawyer, and I don't know, you know, that those have happened, but it was pretty extreme circumstances. So I'm guessing the average cost of a windshield, uh, 300 bucks, is that... A, Depends on the vehicle. Does that sound about and right, though? Insulation, insulation and stuff like and that. And there's insulation, yeah. Now, so. And see, our deductible, I think, on one vehicle is 500 the other is 1000 So yeah. it's just like we don't win on that. Well, well I yeah, know it, one time an insurance agent told me, and that wasn't you, it was another guy. <laughs> are you, who, are you, who are you talking to other insurance I'm talking about Joe. Oh, okay. Right. But he That's told me, he said, save the insurance for the big stuff. Right, yeah. We always recommend, this is what I've always been taught, Make your deductible as high as you can afford for it to be. Okay. Because you're getting, you're gambling when you buy insurance anyway. You know, right. I mean, I know you're required sometimes, but it's a gamble. And if you wouldn't turn a claim in under five hundred dollars, have a five hundred. Save the premium. There's no reason to have a low deductible if you're if you aren't going to use it. And I would recommend finding out if you have to find out the difference in a thousand five hundred. You know, what have you. And put that premium difference in a bank account. If you don't need it, you don't need it. It's your money. You know, we mm -hmm. just, I hate to see people spend money on insurance they don't need because there's right. other things that are much more important like liability, umbrella, that kind of thing. Can I pay you a compliment? Well, you, okay. You and Brian okay. Insurance. I've been wanting to for about two weeks, but you haven't been here. Okay. Uh, three weeks ago, my insurance for the airplane was coming up for renewal. 
And Sonia looked into it, and a day later she said, you need to just keep what you got. It's a great policy, everything you need's on it, and that's a rate, you know, we could probably match it, but, but that's a really good rate. And thank you for being honest, and I really appreciate you. Well, I, I appreciate that, and that's our philosophy. Uh, I know most people knew Denny Bryan. He was like, the owner of our agency, passed away this year. But his philosophy and the one that we carry on at Bryan Insurance, if you do the right thing, by your clients, everything will turn out the way it's supposed to be, and we believe that. Thank you much. Is there anything else? Well, I want just, uh, just you know, I got a cracked windshield from a truck, and you, you schooled me on that. I know. So, yeah. yeah, I think in our family right now we have two cracked windshields and one rock hit. Yeah, so we do know. too. Yeah, we got we'll both see. of us. There you go. Both of us have one. So it was a very timely question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So basically, if you if you get behind a rock truck or you're meeting one, you get hit. Unless you have a low deductible, just pay for it. Well, the, you, you know. know, again, carry a high deductible if you can afford it. Save right. the money if you're not going to turn a claim in. Exactly. And then if anybody has any questions about that or anything else, they can call us at the office, 940-549-2525. Come see us, second floor Sierra Bank Building in downtown Graham, or visit us online at brianbrynins.com. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you.